Uh, let's go ahead and start with yours. Let's talk about Kings Toronto over 238 and a half. What do you have this projected at? Okay, so I have this projected at, I have this like around 240, yeah. 241 or so. Okay. I think the biggest thing is that I'm not quite sure the market is really capturing what Toronto is right now. Obviously, you trade a great defensive player like OG Ananobi, and you lose a lot defensively. And then you finally have a guy in Emmanuel Quickly who can really get his own shot. So I love that. But then you look at the Sacramento Kings. We know that they're going to be top 10 in pace. They're going to push the pace. They're not a good defensive team. So I expect this to be a track meet. So I look at this game, and you look look at the Toronto Raptors the last two, two games. They've had two games since the trade. They gave up you know, 121 points to the Cavs. They gave up 111 points to the Grizzlies, but this Grizzlies team is not a a top-tier offensive team. So I feel like they're going to score better and they're going to give up points. So I really like that over. The over in Kings games at home is 12-6 and this season. So a good spot there. Um, I've got this projected for 245 and a half, so I'm going to go with you, and I'm with you on this bet. Even though betting Toronto, like, man, I, I did this on BetStream. I talked about this one. There's just mm-hmm. been a number of games this season where I've taken overs on the Raptors, and the game just gets weird. Like, it just gets weird. And sometimes it's the Raptors offense dying, like, versus uh, Miami, where when it was – they scored 37 points in the second half. Um, there's just been random, like they'll sometimes clamp down the opponent, but the OG factor, I think is a huge, I think it's a great cap of this team might just be way more of an offensive squad than they were prior to the trade. They added offensive firepower. They added another ball handler that makes their team more dynamic and they got worse defensively that combined with the trend. And I've got the number projected. I'm with you. Let's take the 238 and a half over. Let's ride. 